Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our second exhibition bout of the evening. In the blue corner from Coiling South Shields, please put your hands together for Adam Jensen. And face across the ring in the red corner from Tempest, please put your hands together for Kawara Smith. And this is an exhibition bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds. The referee goes on. Second contest of the evening here at Jewel. 67 kilogram exhibition boxing contest between Kaora Smith and Adam Jensen. And Jensen looking uh, looking sharp, using that jab to uh, get in close. Kaora Smith, the rangier fighter, looking to just stay on the outside and work around. Yeah, just as our MC, and MC was saying during the introductions, a couple of the bouts have gone by the wayside today, but rather than... Uh, have the unfortunate conversation with a couple of the fighters and say that you won't be competing. We've been uh, able to put on a couple of exhibition contests, so it's good that they still go through the motions. Cora Smith and Adam Jensen, as we said. Exhibition contest, three two-minute rounds. Moving nicely on the feet. Cora got good footwork, circles out pretty well. Not throwing much in way of strikes, though. No, but everything that Jensen's thrown so far, he, he, he's landed. You know, Kawara Smith's just having a bit of a difficult time adjusting to the range. Um, you know, you see him slipping and rolling the smaller fighter, which he's getting caught on. And Jensen's taking advantage of that, just moving forward constantly. I'd like yeah. to see uh, Smith um, establish his jab a bit better. Keep that range, make uh, make Jensen pay as he uh, as he steps in. Yeah, at the moment it's uh, how how good is Adam Jensen's fast hands at yeah. catching the, the the quick movement of Kawara Smith. But Smith now just beginning to fire some strikes, and every time he does, Jensen just puts a a couple of a couple of little shots. Like then he doubled up with a hook and just circled off a bit. But as you can see, Smith's really starting to establish that jab a bit better now. Yeah, he's uh, circling to his left, looking for the opening, goes to the body that time. Jensen comes back and answers with a left of his own. That's it. And in the uh, in the midst of the um, of the punches thrown there, Smith surprisingly didn't take too much. A lot of shots uh, land into the gloves. But I definitely say Jensen put the pace on him that round, coming forward, throwing a constant volume of shots, nothing too heavy. Yeah, and it's no. nice, it's, as we say, it's nice for Jensen to take Smith through the rounds here. Smith, obviously, one of the lads initially scheduled to compete here tonight. Only competing eight months in yep. boxing, so yep. still a long, long way to go. He's Definitely. taken on Jensen, who, who run the curling gym. He's got a, a, a wide array of experience in comparison to his opponent, but... Yep. Nice this is going to do nothing but good for Smith tonight, you know. Um, under the bright lights, crowd watching, you know, get rid of those initial nerves and really just look to work against someone maybe that you don't spar against every day, you know, someone who can offer a different look to what you're used to. Second round, Adam Jensen in the blue corner. Now, if I'm Smith's corner, I'm saying... You know, maybe take the centre and establish your jab, or if you want to play on the outside, really just make him pay with, you know, put that hand out there, put that left out there, make him walk onto the jab a little bit, just so we can't close the distance down. Yeah, the thing that is, is visible to see is the uh, Jensen's ability to react to the strikes that Smith is throwing. Yeah. Um, and his counter punching has, has been nothing short of great thus far. Like you say, though, with experience, Smith will. Oh, yeah, he's showing all the signs of a promising fighter, is Smith. You know, um, you can see he knows what he wants to do. You know what you, you knows what he's going in there to do. It's just, um, you know, mat time, ring time, get in there. You know, spend time in there. Yeah, he's not got a movement issue, like we've said. No. It's just, uh, if he picks, he's just picking his shots. Yeah. You know, he's Jensen's got the, um, the shorter limbs. You know, he's not having to throw them as far. And, you know, as for build, he's all core. Those slips, he's making... He's making Smith miss by an inch and then, you know, really closing the distance. 
Yeah, Smith's uh, sort of been contained at the moment to the jab, be it straight down the pipe to the body or yeah. or to the head. I'd maybe like to see him uh, look to throw more strikes. He does on that occasion again Beautiful to the bottom of the right there. hand. I'd like to see him maybe throw that left hand and then throw the right hand over the top high. Yeah. And see what Jensen's response to that is. You can see that Smith is actively trying to type. Jensen's got a great way of closing the distance, walking in Very with his right hands. or his left. And uh, Smith's just trying to take a double step back and then catch him with a straight. You know, you can see him really trying to counter that movement with yeah. a punch. And the thing is, though, Jensen, when he steps in, he's not just throwing the one shot. Yeah. So Smith's not being able to establish that at this point, no, I'm going to be able to throw a strike of my own. Yep. Because Jensen's firing a 1 2, a 1 2, 3. And again, he's on the back foot, as you said, Dan. Most of the time, Jensen's commanding the centre of that ring, which is ideally where, you know, Smith may want to get out there and just push it a little bit, you know, take the centre of that ring and just make Jensen move, just working off that jab, you know. Less less movement, more jab. Make make Jensen dance around. That's literally what I was just about to say. Not got a problem with his movement. His jab's been fine. Just mix it up a bit. Throw one, two. Throw a looping hook. Rip onto the body. When right, he's gone to the body, he's had success as Smith. You know, he's um, he landed that beautiful right straight to the body. You can actually see it well enough on uh, Jensen's belly a little bit um, where he's landed. But he's, uh, you know, he's obviously he's a rangy fighter against a short, stocky fighter. Yeah, and the experience is going to play an issue. Like you say, Quora Smith. I've only been training eight months, so he's uh, he's come out here like we said under the bright lights and. He's, uh, it looks like he's having fun in there, and that's the main thing. Yeah. I know guys that have uh, trained eight years, and, uh, you know, they're not as quick and as agile as uh, Smith. So, you know, he's doing something really, really good here, and this is all experience as we're heading to the second round. Third round. Third round. Third, Third and wow, final sorry. round, Cora Smith, Adam Jensen. Exhibition contest at 67 kilograms. It's better from Smith that time. Stepped in, yes. looked to throw one, two. Good jab. Good response from Jensen. There you go, Beautiful. Smith throwing the right yes. hand down the pipe. Looking to engage a little bit more in this uh, in this round. And he's definitely got the range so he can lead with that right. You know, keep Jensen guessing. And he's, a, he's, a, he's able to circle away from Jensen. Yeah. Uh, down this, well, to, to his left. Jensen, he's had some success throwing that right on the, on the break. Um, and on the exchange, at the end of the exchange, but... A lot of the time, he's, he's missed with it. A beautiful display of strikes from Jensen. He's not uh, he's not come off a of breath yet. He's uh, he's not stopped throwing since the beginning of the rounds. And that's it now. Smith starting to throw back off that head movement before Jensen had stand there and just timed him because Smith wasn't offering anything back after a roll, after the slip. Now he is. Yeah, I think that's been the the, the main component of the Arsenal for uh, Jensen is that the, the speed coupled with shot volume and the, yes. and the speed he can throw them at yep. is it's 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 drowning Kawara. So when he's trying to get shots off of it himself, he's he's doing what he is doing now and he's having yep. to defend five, six shots and he's he's literally waiting for that moment to say, give me a, my time. Yeah, definitely. But Which, you can see you can see Smith actively like learning on the job right now you know he's yeah. he's making he's making improvements to his game in the ring throughout the rounds as we that's see it. you know it's like okay that's not working let's try this and that's far superior to doing that in the gym because in the gym you do go at it yep but it's very different to being in the actual venue and having a live opponent that's coming at one. you so very Beautiful full display by both guys yeah, there. Very good exhibition boxing, like we say, three two minute rounds. And we'll pass it in ring to our MC to make the decision official. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mobile Warriors. Like I said, it's not easy to get in the ring and showcase their talents. So let's hear it up after I've been training for eight months for Kawara Smith. And the one thing you didn't realise, in the blue corner, he is the current European amateur champion. So we'd like to thank him for seven foot into the ring and uh, showcasing some talent there. So please give it up for Adam Jensen. Helping out the new up and coming talent.
what we've got coming on to the show. I tell you what, we've got some bright stars. We've got some great fights coming up, but it's great to see the younger, inexperienced fighters.